Okay, so this question says, let f be the function defined by f of x equals root x plus 1 for 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 3, and 5 minus x for 3 is less than x is less than or equal to 5. So here we have a piecewise function, and part a says, is f continuous at x equals 3? Explain why or why not. So right down here in the bottom right, I've put a screenshot from my AP Calc AB Unit 1 review sheet that's available on Patreon. I definitely recommend you take a look at that if you haven't done so yet and consider purchasing it. It has basically everything you need. Um, okay, so anyways, I won't spend too much time on that. So these are the three requirements for continuity. First, F of A must be defined. Second, the overall limit must exist, which as a reminder means the limit from the right must equal the limit from the left. That's super important. And then third, that both of those numbers are the same, that those equal each other. So first, let's check if f of a is defined. So f of 3, in this case, if we go up here to our piecewise function, we would be using this function rule because this is when x is less than or equal to 3. Notice that this is when x is greater than 3, so it actually is not defined by this rule for 3. So all we're going to do, f of 3 equals the square root of 3 plus 1, just using direct substitution, and that is the square root of 4, which is just 2. So now our goal is to look at the limit from the right and the limit from the left to make sure that both of those also equal 2. So the limit as x approaches 3 from the right. So for that one, from the right, we're coming from these larger values. So we're going to be using this function here. Again, we can actually just use direct substitution. So if we just do 5 minus 3, we get 2. So that works out because the limit from the right equals 2. Now let's check the limit from the left, which we kind of really already did here, right? Because we were using that func function rule, but I'm going to go ahead and write it out just to show you. So the limit from 3 to the left, again, we're using this function rule. So square root of x plus 1, we're going to use direct substitution. Root 3 plus 1 is root 4, which also equals 2. So therefore, we can conclude that yes, f of x is continuous at x equals 3 because the limit from the right equals the limit from the left equals f of 3.